It rained today, so it was a perfect day to go to the Big Louvre. You know, the Louvre. The one in Paris. Not the one in Lens. Actually, I would go so far as to call it the far too big Louvre. So, I mean, this place used to be a palace. Like, it's massive. Everyone says you really need three days to do it, and we did it in an afternoon. Well, we didn't see everything, obviously. Not even close. But, even though they're pretty much the most common art forms, uh, sculptures and paintings are my favorite, so we just kind of did that. But we did start with, like, ancient art. There was the Italian sculptures from the 11th to 15th century, and then Spanish sculptures from the 11th to 15th century, and then Northern European from 12th to 16th. I don't think we saw all of that, because then we went up to Roman Antiquities, where I got to see some more Michelangelo sculptures, and also the Greek Antiquities, where we saw Venus de Milo, who was actually Aphrodite. So, cool. Fun story. Um, speaking of her, there are, like, a lot of broken statues from, like, this era, and I find it almost more intriguing. Like, you have to kind of guess what the missing parts would have looked like. After that, it was, uh, Egyptian Antiquities, where we saw, like, Ramses statue, and also, like, his sarcophagus, and mummified, like, bread and stuff, and also a mummy, and that was cool. And then you've got this Apollo gallery, which just stop trying so hard, Europe. You're making the rest of us look bad. Then, of course, Italian paintings, because we have to see the Mona Lisa. Um, everyone had kind of told me that the Mona Lisa was like unimpressive and in a way the way that they kind of have her set up against the wall and behind glass and everybody's crowded around it it seems a little ridiculous but I did think she was smaller than that from what everyone said like it seemed like she was gonna be the size of my head or something from the way people talked and she wasn't it was but it, yeah she was cool to see and right across from her is a massive painting in comparison, um, the wedding feast. By this point in my trip, I've sort of had enough of Italian art, and I know that might sound terrible, but French painters are where it's at, and they're my favorite, and we had maybe just enough time to kind of quickly go through the 18th and 19th century section of French painters, where we got to see a bunch of famous artists whose names I can't pronounce, and looked at their wonderful paintings, and... I kind of just enjoyed the experience, and I'm kind of glad to have only been there for four hours, I think, because, gosh, I, I get burnt out on museums pretty quickly. I don't know if I could have taken three days in that place. That would be too much. 